Hello, viewers. You can watch all episodes of this video right now on Patreon. If you can pledge a small monthly donation as low as $2 on Patreon, you can watch exclusive videos, bonus content, get free merchandise, and much, much more. Just go to patreon.com slash Christian Kids. We turn the best lessons from our faith into interesting animated videos and share them online. With your support, we'll be able to make more videos and invest more in the quality of each video. So what do you say? Every little bit helps, and your kindness will be rewarded with some pretty awesome perks. If you are not in a position to support us financially, then please do pray for us. Prayer support is very important for our mission. We hope you enjoy the video. Thank you. Saints. Dominic Savio is the youngest person that the Catholic Church has ever declared to be a saint on the basis of his heroic virtue alone that is, his exceptional goodness. Dominic was the son of poor working-class folks. His father was a blacksmith, and both of his parents taught him about Jesus, Mary and the saints, and how to pray. Dominic was a remarkable boy. Even as a young boy, he had great faith. For example, he said grace before every meal, and refused to eat with those who did not. He was very bright and enjoyed school as well as play. He was well-liked and respected by his friends. He showed leadership skills from a young age and used those skills to encourage his friends to holiness. Although he was young, Dominic was clearly different than his peers. Once, two boys in his school stuffed a school heating stove with snow and rubbish. The boys were known troublemakers and were likely to face expulsion if caught, so they blamed Dominic for the misdeed. Dominic did not deny the accusation, and he was scolded before the class. However, a day later, the teacher learned the truth. He asked Dominic why he did not defend himself while being scolded for something he did not do. Dominic mentioned he was imitating Jesus, who remained silent when unjustly accused. Dominic attended church regularly with his mother. He even prayed outside the church building. It did not matter to Dominic if the ground was covered with mud or snow. He knelt and prayed anyway. While the children of the time customarily received their first communion in their early teens, Father Lucha recognized the boy's remarkable piety and let him make his first communion at the age of seven. As the day of his first communion drew near, Dominic wrote down four resolutions, remarkably mature thoughts of a seven-year-old. I will go to confession and communion as often as my confessor will allow. I will sanctify Sundays and holy days in a special way. Jesus and Mary will be my friends. Death, but not sin. As we shall see, Dominic lived by these resolutions. Once on the long three-mile walk to school, an elderly man asked him whether he was afraid to walk alone so far. Dominic cheerfully replied, Nothing seems tiresome or painful when you are working for a master who pays well. While full of energy and ready to join in any game with his friends, Dominic's health was weak. Dominic's teacher spoke well of him and brought him to the attention of Father John Bosco. 
Father John Bosco was renowned for looking after hundreds of boys, many of them orphaned and poor. In October 1854, Dominic was personally introduced to Father Bosco, along with his father. At the meeting, Bosco wanted to test Dominic's intelligence and his understanding of the Catholic faith. He gave the young boy a book and asked him to learn a few pages by heart. He then asked the boy to come back the next day when he had memorized the text. Father Bosco sent Dominic off to join the other boys who were playing, and then he turned to have a word with his father. Mr. Savio assured him that Dominic was a very good boy and a bright student. To Father Bosco's surprise, Dominic returned a few minutes later. Smiling, he said, I can recite it now if you want me to, Father. Father Bosco listened as the boy recited the assigned page word for word without hesitation or any mistakes. With a little doubt in his voice, Father Bosco asked if he knew the meaning of what he had just recited. Eagerly, Dominic explained clearly the meaning of the passage to the delight of both Father Bosco and his father. Dominic was invited to attend the school he had recently founded, Oratory of St. Francis de Sales, a school youth center, and hospice that Don Bosco had begun as part of his work with young boys. Dominic was excited too. He knew that if he was a good student, he could eventually become a priest and grow even closer to the Lord. The oratory became Dominic's home for the rest of his short life. Dominic deeply impressed Father Bosco with his desire to become a saint, so much so that the priest began to take notes about the exceptional young boy. These notes would later become the basis of a biography about Dominic. Father Bosco helped his young charge grow in holiness. At first, Dominic thought that being a saint meant being very serious and doing many penances for his sins. In his zeal, he tried voluntary mortification and other voluntary penances, hoping that they would help him to grow closer to Jesus. Sometimes, he skipped meals so that he would have more time to pray. The other students made fun of him. But Father Bosco taught him that the best way to be a saint is to do ordinary things every day with extraordinary zeal. He explained that what he should do instead was to devote himself to his studies and to be cheerful. He discouraged Dominic from any more physical penances. Dominic's happy demeanor quickly returned. At the same time Dominic was developing his reputation as a fantastic student, his health began to fail. Dominic was taken to the doctor, who recommended that he be sent home to his family to recover. Dominic wanted to stay at the oratory, but Father Bosco insisted he go home. Everybody expected Dominic to recover, except for Dominic himself who insisted he was dying. He implored his parents to bring the parish priest so he could make a last confession. They obliged him, and Dominic made a confession and was given the anointing of the sick. His last words were, Goodbye, Dad, goodbye. What was it the parish priest suggested to me? I don't seem to remember. Oh! What wonderful things I see! Dominic fell asleep and died within minutes. It was March 9, 1857, and Dominic was merely 14 years of age. Father Bosco was powerfully touched by Dominic, and he wrote a biography, The Life of Dominic Savio. The biography quickly became popular, 
and would eventually be read in schools across Italy. Dominic Savio was declared venerable in 1933 by Pope Pius XI, beatified in 1950, then canonized in 1954 by Pope Pius XII. Oh, Saint Dominic Savio, a model of purity, piety, penance, and apostolic zeal for youth. Grant that through your intercession, we may service God in our ordinary duties with fervent devotion and attain the grace of holy joy on earth, that we may one day love God forever in heaven. Amen. Hello, viewers. Sorry for interrupting the video. I just wanted to take a moment to request you to pray for us and donate if you can. If you can donate just $5, Christian Kids TV can keep making more videos like this. If you are not in a position to donate, then do pray for us. In fact, prayer support is very important to our mission. Thanks for your time, and we hope you enjoy the video.